Hi folks, well I'm smiling because I've got no wind on a weekday, which is unusual, but today's the day that everything I've been waiting for, well not everything, but the biggest thing I've been waiting for, for quite a long time, years, is here. Um, OSD in the DJI goggles, thanks to the uh, WF OSD developers, Shannon Baker, Sneaky FPV, uh, I used his video today to set this up and it was so, so easy. Uh, and, you know, the it's just so much better than I've heard people talk about it, you know, raving about it. It's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to fly it. Um, and also I've got INAV 6 on here, a pre-release version, um, which is um, hopefully cured the horizon drift problem. So I'm going to get the plane up in the air, uh, have a little bit of a sunset flight and uh, enjoy uh, no horizon drift and a full glorious OSD in my DJI goggles. Let's see how that all turns out. Okay, we're loitering. Look at that horizon. Could it be true? Could this really be happening? Oh my God. Look at this, this is incredible. Full HD and that OSD, I'm not even wearing my contact lenses which I normally need to wear to see the uh, OSD. Let's do some steep turns in the horizon. That's nuts. Mark Hoffman and all the INAV, all the INAV developers, they deserve a medal. And Shannon Baker and all the people at WTF OSD. Wow, you've done an amazing job, guys. You just really turned this hobby for me into, into something else. Look at the clarity of that image. And this is what I'm seeing in the goggles. Even the little touches like the battery voltage. Although I'm not sure it should be on yellow yet, but I get the drift, it's just the beginning. Wow. This is absolutely glorious. Let's turn around and record another little clip for the Facebook group, because I've got to put this up. This is just... Cruise mode. Let's lock it into cruise, drop the throttle down. Oh, I can actually see my throttle. Wow. Let's do a little clip. All my dreams come true, guys. No horizon drift and full blown digital OSD. Absolutely incredible. Look at that horizon. Wow. Let's do a loop. Oh, 
Oh my goodness me. Amazing. Look at it. It's just amazing. Is it like lower to the ground? Let's check it out. Well, the sun's bright. Let's have a run towards me. Home arrow's working great. Wow, incredible. I'm just blown away, I don't know what to say. I just want to fly all the time. Unbelievable. All right, let's bring it into land. Not sure why I'm not getting milliamp hours used or remaining. Well, that was just incredible. Um, so amazing and uh, to be able to see, you know, the way the hobby has just developed in a short time I've been involved in it. Um, you know, I've been flying quads for quite a few years, maybe nearly 10 years, but um, only playing for about four, maybe four and a half years. And, um, you know, when, when DGI brought out these goggles, I mean, it was a game changer for me personally to be able to fly at that kind of resolution. Um, but obviously getting into planes and getting into INAV, a little bit disappointing that I couldn't use the OSD in these goggles. Um, but that's all thing of the past now and boy have they done a, such an amazing job. So if you have invested in the DJI system already and you've used INAV then, you know, the WTF uh, OSD is just a must. INAV itself, version 6, the preview version, not the final release, it just flew amazingly well. I just installed it on the stock settings. Um, didn't tune it or anything um, and it flew like you saw in the video and the, you know, the horizon drift was compared to the past it's just gone um, I mean I've crashed a plane in the past because of the horizon drift problem you know leaving it on loiter and it comes down in fact a couple of planes I've crashed so uh, to have that confidence um, in INAV and horizon drift is just br brilliant so all the all the stuff that's in the video you know the um, the WTF stuff I'll put all the links the the, the video that was produced by Sneaky FPV that I used to set this up today was, you know, it was just so easy to use. I was quite surprised. And you get some extra free bonuses like um, the, uh, the hack that allows you to unlock these goggles to 1200 milliwatts. You can do that so it's permanent. You don't need to worry about those SD cards anymore. Um, and a few other little goodies as well. So it seems like this platform that they're developing for the DJI goggles is here to stay and they're going to be adding all sorts of new features on it. So get involved in it now and you know get to learn how it works and then you won't miss out on any of the uh, features that come out down the line. So yeah, um, that's it. Um, I just can't wait to get out and fly again. Now the weather's turned, it's raining, it's windy and it's gonna be like that for a week or so. So uh, I'll just concentrate on, um, on, on the build of the, uh, the new AR Pro and um, continue to tinker around with this test plane. Um, during the, uh, the bad weather times. Okay, that's it folks, I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one.